welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and today I want to show you how to make my delicious cumin roasted beetroot and butternut squash soup. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my cumin roasted beetroot and butternut squash soup. This recipe is really easy to do and as spring is on the way now, yay! Um, I'm starting to see beetroot back on the shelves in our shops. This is like a seasonal vegetable. I don't tend to see beetroot all the year round, but at this time of year, I start to see it more in our supermarkets and shops. And I thought it'd be a really nice idea to start making soups with it. So, while I was making it, I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my cumin roasted beetroot and butternut squash soup. So the first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 180 degrees. So while my oven's been preheating, I've been chopping my vegetables for the soup. So for this recipe, I have two beetroots. I think in the original recipe I had one beetroot, but I wanted to make a little bit extra today. Um, I think the beetroot I had in the original recipe was actually a really large beetroot, so I've got two smaller ones today. And I'm going to put these, so I've peeled these and I've chopped them into like one centimetre pieces, so about so big, and I'm going to put these into a baking tray now. Um, and then I have about half of that butternut squash so I've probably got about 200 grams and I peeled the butternut squash so I like removed the skin um, and I just used the top half so I didn't have to remove the seeds and I have about and I cut that into about one centimeter pieces as well and then I had half a large red onion so if you have a red onion then that'll be fine so I've peeled and di uh, peeled sliced and diced that red onion so I'm just going to put that in and I'll just mix those together like so and then I'm going to add my cumin seeds so I'm going to add about a teaspoon of cumin seeds and cumin seeds are great for aiding digestion so these are really good for you I actually have a cumin seed tea in the morning it sounds a bit weird and it does taste a bit weird but it actually really helps with my digestion so if you wanted to know um, and then I'm also going to drizzle over some olive oil now. So I'm going to just drizzle over olive oil all over the vegetables and the cumin seeds. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt, not too much, and a little bit of pepper as well, probably just a pinch. So I'm just going to sprinkle over a little bit of pepper and then I'm going to toss all of these vegetables in the oil and the pepper and the salt and the cumin seeds until everything is covered in the oil like so and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into my oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until things start to go golden brown so my vegetables are nice and golden brown now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out and set them aside and leave them to cool. So I just left the roasted vegetables to cool completely and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend these with the other ingredients. So first I'm going to pour in, I think I've got about 800 mils of vegetable stock here. You can use chicken stock or you could use bone broth as well if you wanted to. And then I've got two tins of butter beans that I've drained um, and rinsed in the sink. So I'm going to put those in now. Hopefully this will all fit. If it doesn't, I can always do another load. So I'm just gonna put these into my blender. I think I might have to do this in two parts, but anyway. Um, and then I'm going to add the vegetables in now. So I'm going to add my roasted onions, beetroot, butternut squash and cumin as well. And I have to say this smells absolutely delicious. I can smell it as it's going past my nose and I'm like, oh, I feel so hungry right now. I'm really looking forward to this for my lunch. And this will probably serve about two people, maybe three at a push, but definitely two. Actually, 
one, more than that, probably serve four people, sorry. I'm so used to making these for myself for my lunch that I forget that I have um, family. Anyway, those are all in there now. So what I'm going to do is just simply blend all of these ingredients together. As I was blending this, I noticed it was a bit thick and I may have put a little bit too much in my blender. I should have probably done this in two parts. But what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more vegetable stock. If this does happen to you, then all you need to do is just add more vegetable stock and it'll be fine. And I'm going to blend again now. My blender has finished and it seems as though everything is lovely and smooth in here now. So I'll just show you. Everything is really smooth. It is quite full, I have to say. So if you wanted to, you could do this in two parts. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pour this back into a saucepan. And I'm going to put this on the heat and I'm going to have it for my lunch. And I have to say, again, it smells absolutely delicious. I can't wait to eat this. So I've just heated this through gently on the hob and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to serve myself a little bit and I will give this a try as well. As I said, it smells so good, I cannot wait to eat it. Just get a spoon. So I've got myself a spoon and I'm just going to give this a try. Um, I'm going to be eating this with some chickpea flour wraps or pancakes um, and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you and I've also done a video on that as well for this channel um, and the recipe is on Googie's Kitchen Live so if you want the recipe for chickpea flour wraps then please go find it um, but for now I'm just going to try this mm, that's really good it's delicious so that's my lunch today. So that's how you make my cumin roasted beetroot and butternut squash soup. And that recipe I will link in the description box below. As I mentioned a lot earlier, I'm going to eat this for my lunch now. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you soon. Bye.